Alright, hey everyone, Shane here from GIST. We're doing the blog series and today we have the guy from Tungle, Richard Zeidel. And uh, you know, they're doing some awesome stuff and I saw their calendar of the future and I wanted to get him on here and talk about his vision for the company. You know, what, what is the calendar of the future? Tell me about Tungle and you know, let all of our users and people that are using GIST let, know about Tungle because uh, it's one of my favorite apps and you know, it's definitely in my signature block now. You know, and that, it's something that we've been talking Happy about. Happy to hear that. So, uh, Richard, you know, what is the calendar of the future? And, you know, you could start mm -hmm. off. How did you come up with the idea for Tungle? Uh, Tungle the company or the calendar of the future? Well, I mean, start with the company. All right. So, the company is four years old, was founded by, uh, by Mark Jingra. Um, and uh, really, the basis for it was to, to solve the pain of scheduling. Um, which is kind of uh, an addendum to traditional calendaring, but is the, you know, the, the common pain point amongst all people who are scheduling meetings. Um, and so really the first three and a half, four years was spent on developing IP, writing code, um, you know, with a lot of complexities in the back end in terms of what we're doing because we sync with all the major calendaring systems, right? So we had to write bridges into, you know, Outlook and Lotus Notes and Google and Apple's products. Um, and so coming out of that beginning of this year was really our kind of go to market, uh, go to market year. And we spent a lot of time uh, building market share, mind share, obviously acquiring new customers and really evangelizing the product and speaking to the pain point. The idea behind the calendar of the future was really to, uh, to put forward a thought leadership platform where people could understand what our vision was for the future playing in the space. The truth is, as time has progressed, we find ourselves increasingly bumping up against the calendaring space. And to, to put some ideas behind, you know, where do we see this going? How is this going to evolve? Um, certainly clear to us, uh, you know, from where we're standing, that there's been very little innovation in the space. Um, you know, we speak to in the video, but really you had this kind of adaptation from the analog calendar, the paper calendar, uh, to a digital format. But beyond that, really nothing has happened. Nothing has transpired. And there's so many interesting things happening in kind of the larger ecosystem. The question became, well, you know, if the calendar is the greatest representation of you as an individual, the way you spend your time and who you spend your time with, um, then why isn't it doing more for me? And that was kind of the beginning of the thought process. And so what we did is we went out to, we had put together an advisory uh, group and we went out to talk to our advisors um, who sit, some of them at least with the major calendaring players, the guys at Google, IBM, um, and sat down with them, started to talk about, okay, where's this thing going? You know, um, some of the other high level guys, I'm sure you know Scoble as well. Um, and start to get some really great ideas on top of, you know, what's happening in the general space. So what we came down to um, was that the calendar almost is an anchor for all the other kind of secluded silo data sets that are out there. Um, and it represents a very big opportunity for anybody playing in the calendaring space to bring these data sets into a common, uh, onto a common platform, which is a representation of the individual. And so we put this kind of, uh, you know, this package out there, uh, you know, both for our users, but as well for the industry as a whole. And uh, we've gotten a really good reception to it. I mean, I started using Tungle mainly because of Skype. So it was always like, hey, you, you know, let's hop on Skype. And I'm like, all right, when can you meet? And then that when can you meet email turns into nine different emails. So for anyone out there that ever has, you know, the emails that go back and forth, I mean, that's when I was like, okay, this doesn't even make sense. And, uh, you know, that's when I got all gung-ho about Tungle. And it started making complete sense to me that why don't you just show me five times you're available and then I click which one I'm available and then let us both know. Right. I, I think it's more of a focus on the user at the end of the day, on the individual. And that individual has both private and, you know, both a private and, and public life and they live in large organizations and they're also soccer moms. And so the idea is for us, um, you know, first and foremost is to take as much friction out of the kind of scheduling and calendaring process as possible to make that as simplistic as possible. Um, and the second thing is to really have your calendar now become intelligent, right? We have so much data out there about our interests, about the people we congregate with, what we do, where we do it. Um, there, there should be some intelligence behind, you know, what is now really a two-dimensional calendaring system. And so, you know, I think it's our responsibility, along with the other industry leaders, to, to drive that forward and to uh, provide a, a, a tool set um, 
that helps you to maximize your time to drive efficiency on an ongoing basis by learning about what your interests are um, and the way that you spend your time. And, you know, I think ideally over a period of time, what we're going to see is um, the calendar and scheduling allowing you to to set forward goals and to track the way you're spending time against those goals. So really at the end of the month to be able to say, okay, well, what was I looking to accomplish uh, over the last 30 days and what did I accomplish and how can I do it better over the next 30 days? So it kind of started with the idea. So, you know, I'm booking a meeting and uh, a lot of meetings we know are business related meetings. So it's certainly our service caters largely to the business professional. We see a lot of lunch meetings, for example. And the idea was kind of floated around the office. Well, wouldn't it be great if I was sending up a lunch meeting with you? You know, I'm coming to Seattle. I would love to meet with you. And um, I know that you use Yelp and Yelp is able to tell me where you like to eat and, you know, uh, take into account proximity to your uh, to your office and some of the other variables and to be able to make those recommendations during the meeting booking process. And so that's, you know, that's the kind of idea that I'm talking about when I say we have these uh, these data silos, these personal data data silos out there, that kind of information would be very important to the scheduling process, um, you know, in order to ensure that, you know, we're getting together under the right pretenses. One of the greatest stresses is having a meeting run long and then having to get to the next meeting and you get into your car and you're like, okay, I got 20 minutes and then you got stuck in traffic and it just throws off your entire schedule for the day. And so we look at situations like that where you've got friction in your day and we say, okay, you know, how can your calendar help you manage this? So my calendar knows where I am and it knows where I have to be and when. Um, it should be able to establish the best route to get there. What do real-time conditions look like? So traffic, weather, construction. And should proactively notify me that, you know what, you better leave 20 minutes early because we've got all of these problems on the way. And if you want to get there on time, you've got to leave now. And so, you know, again, conceptually, these are the types of things we're talking about, but don't speak to necessarily particular, particular features or functions over the next six months. It's a, again, it's a high-level view of what are we trying to achieve uh, for our users and, you know, generally for people who are using calendars. So ba basically taking what you're planning and what's on your calendar and turning it into what actually are you doing. It's more, you know, from the planning stage of the real time. So thanks, Richard, for taking the time today, man. And uh, I'll get this on the blog, everyone. Tungle.me is the is the website and if you don't use it you know sync your calendars Check up it to it it kind of does everything for you you know it's i feel like i should be paying an assistant but uh yeah. th thanks a lot for taking the time out today and no sweat